Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast where we have digital discussions in the worlds of sports, TV, film, pop culture, social media, everything really depending on the guest. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Pierre Meliotis, and on social media, you know me as PD Beats. The World Junior Hockey Championship was a tournament that many, many people watched over the holiday break. It recently concluded, and we are speaking to a member of Team USA, who is in Ottawa Senators prospect as well, playing for University of North Dakota. We are speaking to Shane Pinto. Shane, welcome back to Pop Turnative, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be back. Yeah, of course, and... Uh, we had uh, Isaiah Seville and Ryder Donovan, but now it's all about Shane Pinto. We we, yeah. we we didn't invite them back. We invited you back. Yeah, no, yeah, that was a good one. Hopefully we could uh, live up to it. Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, huge international stage. You know, you're going and playing with players that you kind of met throughout your junior hockey, and there's also some players on Team USA that maybe you weren't kind of familiar with, but you're kind of – you're going in, you're playing in this big tournament. What was it kind of like from the first game on Box Day against Canada, Shane? Yeah, no, to start off against Canada, you know, you always hear about it, but uh, you could kind of tell, uh, you know, the tension that was in between us. But, um, yeah, it was an awesome experience, you know. The first game, you know, you got to kind of get off to a good start. And, you know, I thought we played well enough. We could have won that game, but kind of just didn't end the way we wanted to. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's still an experience that you're going to take for the rest of your career, correct? Yeah, hundred percent. I'll never forget about that. So, a lot of uh, Ottawa Senators fans and NHL fans in general were really um, happy with how you kind of were on the power play. Like when you were out there, everything kind of seemed to click with you. Is that something that you were kind of hoping that you can kind of show on a big stage of the World Junior, Shane? Um, yeah, I know. I think I have that ability, but uh, I think the biggest thing for me was just I think the players that I had around me. You know. Robertson, you know, he set me up a couple of times, you know, me and Jonesy, you know, we have kind of good chemistry because we played a couple of years together. So, um, yeah, I mean, I didn't really think about it like that. I just wanted to help my team win. So you finished second in points, got seven points. Uh, Trevor Zegras played for Boston University, got nine assists. He was just making primary assists all over the place. Yeah. Did you kind of know that he was going to be someone special when you kind of got to, you know, the selection camp and kind of saw him play? Did you know Trevor Zegras was going to be the guy for stuff like that? Yeah, no, I, uh, you know, I watched him. Uh, I played against him growing up, so I always knew he was a very skilled player. But, you know, when we had our pre-tournament thing, uh, you could just tell the skill level was elite. So, you know, I knew he could make plays, and, you know, he did. He exactly did that. You know, you kind of saw the spinorama plays, and it was unbelievable. When the World Junior Hockey Championship is a stage that's like no other one can make an argument. And one can make an argument, too, that it's a very unique situation where, you know, you get to play – um, people like yourself get to play against teammates, so you get played yeah. against Jacob Bernard Docker. You're smiling about that. Yeah. Was that kind of like it? It had to be a bit weird. Yeah, it was. Um, <laughs> you know, I think I was going to a faceoff, and he kind of chirped me, and I'm like, Jacob, don't chirp me. Like <laughs> so, he's so bad at chirping, but um, <laughs> yeah, he chirped me, and it just didn't feel right. So um, yeah, no, it was a little bit weird, but you know he's going to come back here soon. We have a second half together. Well, he's gonna come. He's gonna come back on the show, so maybe I'll ask him about the trip. Yeah, yeah, you should ask him about that. But uh, <laughs> he has the bragging rights right now. You know, he won gold. I'm happy for him. Well, I think it was. Was it? Uh, I'm trying to think. Was it you who passed it to Robertson? No, Robertson passed it to me. Sorry, yeah, Robertson passed it to you, but he yeah. was right there too. Yeah, right? yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know it was him at the time, but I watched the. Ad. And yeah, it was, it was pretty funny. Um, but obviously, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, Canada Vance won the gold medal. I mean, he's a teammate of yours. I mean, I'm sure you're, yep. you're happy for him in the end. A hundred percent. Yeah, no, I didn't. I, I wanted him to win instead of Russia. A hundred percent. So, yeah, I'm, a, I'm extremely happy for him. TSN is kind of the holy grail of, of, of sports in Canada. And it's, it's kind of one of the reasons why the tournament, like, got really popular. Yeah. And after that Canada game, I just have to say, and you know what? It was it was really hesitant because, like, Canada kind of, like, I don't know. Like, did you guys have your phones throughout the tournament? Yeah, yeah, we had our phones. Okay, yeah. so Canada did it. So, I don't know. I was going to, like, I don't know. It was too soon, but you guys lost the game. But there was a clip of you interviewing. And, like, they interviewed you about, like, yeah. the, the, non, the non-goal because there was a time left on the clock. 
And man, like there was just so many things I could have said to you because it was hilarious. Because you <laughs> yeah. were just, because you were just like, I don't know, the buzzer here is terrible. I can't hear a thing. Yeah, I was I, like, tell me how you really feel, Pinto. Yeah, I just want, yeah, no, the the, the buzzer there is just absolutely atrocious. Like you can't. <laughs> oh hear but um, I just, yeah, I just spoke my mind there. Kind of. You know what? It. Can we talk about something else? I want your opinion. Can we talk about that penalty song? Oh my god! What, yeah. <laughs> what were yeah, people saying about that? Like, I'm sure that was brought up in the room. It had to. Yeah, be. all the boys hated it because there was actually, you know, they called a lot of penalties in all the games because they kind of just want to even it out. But yeah, no. But I think the check game, we I didn't really hear it because it was just so loud in there. So whenever yeah. they got a penalty or we got a penalty, it was so loud in there. So I didn't really notice it that game, but the first couple, yeah. But it was one of those things too, where I mean, playing in Czech Republic, the crowd was kind of was was insane. That game was so yeah. loud. I mean, um, but does that kind of like? I mean, there were some USA fans here and there. You know what I mean? But that, does that kind of like? You want to kind of be the spoiler. You want to kind of you know beat a team that has a lot of fans, like the home team, like Czech Republic, right? Was that kind of the mindset going into the games as well? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, a lot of Can- uh, Canadian fans were there. You know, even when we played Czech, and they were rooting against us too. So, obviously, we want, we want to prove them wrong. But, yeah, no, when we played in Trinic, though, there wasn't really any sides, you know, because we played Finland. And we didn't have that many fans. They didn't have that many fans. So, it was kind of in between. But, yeah, I think when we played in Australia, it was kind of cool to be the enemy. So I'm, su- I'm sure some Ottawa Senators fans want to know a little bit about this. But there's a little bit of pushing and shoving with you and Lassie Thompson from the – who played for Clinton Rockets. I mean – is there anything to say about that, or was that just kind of heat of the moment? Yeah, it was just heat of the moment. I, I just saw <laughs> kind of hitting Wallstrom, and I kind of just went back. It, it was It's nothing personal at all. No, it was just like, it was just yeah. something that people were saying a lot. Because, man, like, I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy because there was a lot of Ottawa Senators in this tournament, right? Yeah, no, it was. Yeah, Prospects, no. right? So it was yeah. cool for you guys, and people were kind of seeing how you guys reacted to each other. I mean, the Bernard Docker thing is really cool because you're both playing in North Dakota, but you're also yeah, both no, Sense Prospects. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, it's awesome. But yeah, that last thing, yeah, I, I, that's not the personal at all. I, I remember like uh, there's some some Instagram fan accounts for the Ottawa Senators, and like that's like something that they were like talking about the whole time. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I, yeah, no, it, definitely nothing personal. I, I like Lassie. Who were you pr- impressed with um, from Canada that you didn't really know about, know much about before the tournament? Was there anyone that you were like, wow, this guy's a good player? Yeah, I think um, the one that kind of stood out to me was Addison. Yep, their defenseman. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I you know I heard about him, but like you know, I watched him play and just such a good skater. And he's really smart, so I thought he was really good. No, absolutely. Uh, what about yeah. from Team USA? Your team? Anyone that you didn't know? I mean, you mentioned like you knew Jonesy. You played against Zgrass, but like, is there anyone that you weren't familiar with that you were like, man, you're a good player? Robertson, yep. Robo. Yeah, I play. Yeah, I I've never seen him play, and I could definitely tell he's a very good player. So. Both of you have had like you've played internationally for USA before this tournament, correct? Uh, well, I played at the World Junior A. Yeah, is, yeah, the yeah. World Junior A Challenge. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So there's that familiarity there, wearing kind of the you know, um, you know, the United States jersey and everything. But I mean, what was kind of going through your mind when you were like chosen for this elite crop of under twenty players for this tournament? Because it's become such a big deal. Yeah, no, it was. Um... I was pretty surprised, you know. You know, you don't really think of it, but, you know, this is probably the biggest, you know, underage tournament in the world. And just to be in it, play against, like, Lock, like guys like Lafreniere. And it was unbelievable when I got picked. And, you know, I just kind of can't really think about it at the time, but I try to take it all in. But I didn't really get to step back and really think about it. But it was obviously really awesome, though, for sure. Going to uh, – let's talk a little bit about your, like, like – your college uh, hockey that's you're currently doing right now. You know, you're playing for University of North Dakota. Shout out to Jacob Bernard Docker. Shout out to Moose, a.k.a. Andrew Pesky. Yeah, I Moose, hope you're doing yeah. – I hope Moose is doing well. Yeah. Moose he's is from awesome. Ottawa. He's awesome. Yeah. He's, he's a cool he's guy. A yeah, yeah, for sure. Awesome. Um, it's your first year playing uh, college hockey. How's it been so far? Uh, it's been awesome. It's everything I've – you know, it's it's everything I dreamed of, Um, especially here. Um, We just have everything here. There's not much we don't have, and – the guys are awesome. Everyone gets along really well. And it's just being with the boys here, it's just that's the best thing about it, you know, playing in front of all these fans. And it's it's just special. So People will see you kind of out there. They'll see you in kind of post-game interviews. They'll see you on Instagram. You're like a fun 
guy. You got to have yeah. that personality. Hockey players kind of get kind of docked sometimes for like not having personality. How That's important is it for Shane Pinto to have personality as a hockey player? Yeah, no, I think uh, the biggest thing is just being yourself. You know, don't try to be someone you're not. And you know, that's what I, you know, I, I think uh, I'm a, I'm not a funny guy, but I like to, I like to mess around with the boys and just be with the boys. So yeah, you like yeah, to, uh, I just think it's, it's big. You know, camaraderie in the locker room is a big, uh, big thing for team success. So you guys like to chirp my shootout videos too, but I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we have to. I, we we like them, but we do got always chirp. You know, it just it's good. No, it's good. It's good stuff for sure. But uh, I have a little bit of a surprise for you. So I don't know if you remember last time. Uh, uh, some certain certain things happened on the episode with me, you and Isaiah and Ryder last time. Yeah. I don't know if you remember well, what what, what happened. What specific thing? What? What what specific happened? To... So I got some uh, some dad oh, jokes. God. Oh, God. Yeah, so my buddy Vikram for Christmas got me 80 dad jokes. And I said if I was going to get you back on, Shane, uh, you know, these are this would be perfect for Shane Pinto. So <laughs> you, let, let, how many, how many are you going to tell me right now? Gonna tell I don't know. I'm going gonna, gonna, to look through them. Let's see okay. what, we got. What, do we, what do we got here. <laughs> Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. No. Oh, no, 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 that's not a good one. Next. We don't like that one, nope. Um, <laughs> what did the buffalo say to his son when he left for school? <laughs> Bye, son. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. That, is so, that is so stupid. Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, one more, one oh, more. I have to figure out the... No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I got to get a... Okay, this is the last one. It's got to be good. <laughs> All right. Um, oh man! Yeah, it's some good stuff. You can't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, ooh, okay. A sandwich walks into a bar. The barman says, "Sorry, we don't serve food here." <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my God! Sat a oh, sandwich oh, okay, walks into okay, a bar. I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's. This is the last one, and then I'm done. I promise. That was a bad one. That last okay. No, one the, it doesn't yeah. count. It doesn't count. Yeah. It's like the bad. buzzer in Ostrava. It's terrible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. Okay. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what would like what is this what is Isaiah and Ryder gonna say when they see this episode? They're just gonna oh be like, my God. Oh boys. I hope I hope they texted that like Twitter chat and just chirp us. It's twenty twenty. What's kind of some goals that Shane Pinto has for twenty twenty? I mean, obviously college hockey's kind of your 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 goal right now, task at hand. Yeah. But you know, you gotta start thinking at one point of the future, your possible pro career. You're drafted by the Ottawa Centers in the second round. What's kind of going yeah. for your head these the first couple of uh weeks of uh the new year? 2020 um you know right right now i'm just worrying about kind of you know the nchd championship and winning the uh you know the, the national championship but just right for right now i just want to keep getting better i know i say that a lot but that's just the main thing just worry about day by day don't really look too much into the future no that's that that's awesome well yeah. shane thank you so much for coming back on the show i know yeah, i've no asked problem. you many times <laughs> i always <laughs> enjoy it Fun. No, absolutely, man. Where can people follow you on social media? Uh, I think it, I'm just Shane Pinto all the way. Well, seriously, man, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, you yeah, know, you you had you had a you had a you had a you had a good tournament, man. People were talking yeah, about yeah. it. You know, it was it was it was fun. It was a fun experience, and I wish you all the best uh, for the rest of the year in North Dakota, man. Thank you, Peter. I'll talk to you soon. We'll stay in touch. Absolutely. For sure. For sure. Well, this has been Popternative, youtube.com slash Popternative for previous episodes. And until next time, this is Shane Pinto and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.